I say for sure, but what is the hell we're talking about? We can never trust you again, and once? Is it only once? I'm like, okay, but it's not like that. So after a very challenging October that for me is not yet done because I'm still, I'm, I'm filming this early, so I'm not done with October yet. <laughs> um, I have a much, much chiller November TBR, which makes me very hopeful that in November I can actually do a bunch of stuff that I couldn't do in October. I didn't have time to touch any of my vlog projects, so no progress was made on those. I didn't have any time to do writing. I didn't have time to do any mood reading, didn't have time to eat to sleep or eat. <laughs> so I'm excited to do a bunch of that in November. There's uh, several books that are not on my TBR because my TBRs are just obligations, except for October where I just crammed it. <laughs> but yeah, my, my TBR is my obligation books. And then I, I do hope that I have, I have several books in mind that I would like to get to in November if I have time. Again, my vlog project books I would like to get to in November. Um, but anyway, you're here to hear about the books that I am guaranteeing I will read in November. First, before I forget, um, I have a book that I don't have a physical copy of, um, and that is Mort by Terry Pratchett. That is the book my patrons have chosen for me to read and vlog for them. I ordered the cool hardcover from the UK, so it has not arrived yet. But yeah, that is the first book on my DBR. Should make Alan very happy. The next book I've got is City of Dragons by Robin Hobb. This is the third book in the realm, or the third book in the Rainwild Chronicles, which is the fourth series of series in the realm of the Elderlings. Uh, Mara and I are continuing our buddy read, and we aim to be done with the Rainwild Chronicles by the end of this year. So City of Dragons and of November, and then Blood of Dragons in December. And then we'll reconvene for another chat about what we've read so far in January. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Is, I think the, this is, looks, I think it's, this is the shortest one in the Rainwell Chronicles, and thereby also probably the shortest book in the realm of the Elderlings. Maybe The Assassin's Apprentice is shorter. That's decently short. But they all ballooned after that. So anyway, I'm excited to see where the story goes. Next is the Patron Buddy Read. We did a two-parter. In October we read Frankenstein um, and then part two is in November we're gonna read The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. This is a reread for me. I hype it all the time so my patrons are about to break my heart and all tell me that oh that actually sucked and we can never trust you again and your taste it turns out is garbage and yeah so I look forward to that. <laughs> uh, if you've never heard of this this is a retelling of Frankenstein from the perspective of Elizabeth Lavenza. I think it's brilliant um, as a book. I think it's also a brilliant example of what a retelling can and should be. And yeah, I'm excited to reread this. Next up, the read-along is actually starting this time, unless Alan comes in to sabotage it last minute. The Wolf by Leo Garou. This will be, I'm pretty sure, my sixth time reading it, and I'm so excited to read it again. <laughs> um, we will be chatting about it. Uh, me, Alex, and Alan for sure. I say for sure, but this is Alan we're talking about. As soon as Alan finds out that I that I didn't give Mort five stars. Maybe I'll give Mort five stars. See, okay, yeah, maybe I'll give Mort five stars regardless of how I feel about it, just to make sure that Alan shows up for this, and then I can go back and change my rating if need be. Okay, that's a good plan. So if you missed, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I mentioned a couple videos ago, or a couple TBR videos ago, that um, because the third and final book in the Under the Northern Sky series, The Cuckoo, um, it actually already came out in the UK, and I'm currently looking at three copies that I have of it because I accidentally ordered too many, and I do have a fourth coming. But anyway, um, The Wolf is one of my all-time favorite books in the series. Uh, the Spider is actually better, um, but I've actually only read that mm, once. Is it only once? I guess it is only once. <laughs> I've read this like five or six times, though. But the, the Spider is better. But anyway, so we're doing a read-along um, because in the US, the Cuckoo is being released in December. So we're doing this in November, then we're gonna talk about the spider in December, and then in January, to give everybody time to read it, because it comes out in December, uh, we're gonna talk about the Cuckoo, uh, the third and final book, which I have never read. I have a bunch of copies of it now, but I have not read it. So I am very, very excited to read this and talk about it and have everybody break my heart, because everyone can tell me it's not that great and I need to pick a different favorite. But you're all wrong, this book is brilliant and I can't wait to talk about it. Next up are my Book of the Month Club books, which I require myself to read in the subsequent month. So what I got in October, therefore I must read in November. I got Thistlefoot by Jenna Rose Nethercott. I don't know anything about this except that the cover intrigues me and that I believe it has a heavy folkloric inspiration, like Russian folklore. I mean, we've got Baba Yaga's house on the cover, so... Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's how I chose it. <laughs> the cover slash Eastern European folklore. That's all I really needed to know. And the other book of the month club book is Spells for Forgetting by Adrian Young. Uh, it's Adrian Young's first adult novel. I read her debut, Sky in the Deep, and thought it was decent, because also I'm just trash for Vikings. And then, um, since then I've read her books and I have liked them less and less, instead of it getting better and better. But this is her first adult book, um, so I'm giving this a go as well. 
I really like her as a person, like I follow her on social media, so I keep really, really wanting to like her books. I keep buying them because I like her. <laughs> like I would want to be friends with her in real life. She seems like a very chill person. But I'm when I read her books, I'm just like, okay, but it's not like that though. I'm hoping that maybe her recent YA books were not that good because she like all of her brain juice was actually more on this yourself thing, but we'll see. We'll see. Next up is Confessor, which I uh, it was on my previous TBR because I was wrong about the order. Um, we're this is the almost the last book we're reading in the Sword of Truth read along. This is the last book chronologically that we are ordering and that we are reading. And then in December, we're going to go back and read the prequel book, Debt of Bones, which I don't have. I need to get it. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, I mistakenly put this on my October TBR uh, when I should have put Phantom on my TBR because that was actually the next book. So for realsies this time, I'm reading Confessor. And the live show for this will be on Bethany's channel. Yes. And last but absolutely never least is The Wisdom of Crowds by Joe Abercrombie because we are concluding the first law read along on the podcast and 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 don't go anywhere don't go anywhere I see you don't click away we are not just recording a podcast for this we are gonna do it live on the podcast <laughs> so instead of like you know pre-recording it and posting it we're gonna do a live show for Wisdom of Crowds I know a bunch of my patrons were reading first law so they're all caught up um, hopefully, I mean, it's been out for a year, so hopefully if you're all caught up, you can come join us. So we're going to do a live show um, the last Tuesday of, uh, the last Tuesday of November, which I believe is the 29th, but regardless, the last Tuesday for sure, um, at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And yeah, I hope you'll, I hope to see you there. I'll like leave a uh, link, well, I can't leave, I'll leave the podcast link down below if you haven't subscribed, then you can subscribe. Um, and then, you know, as we come closer to the live, you know, I'll, I'll share it on my community tab or whatever, so you can come and join us. And yeah, I'm so, this is the only one I haven't, um, reread before. I've not obviously read this before, <laughs> but, um, this will be my first time rereading it. So even though I came away from this thinking that this is the best one, the first time, it might be one of those that's like really good the first time, but like, doesn't that good on reread? So we're about to find out if I feel the same way again. And those are all the books that I will absolutely 100% for sure read in November. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and feelings about what I'm going to read. If you like these books, if you hate these books, if you're going to join in on any of the reading of these books, whatever you want to let me know. I post videos on Saturdays at the random times, well, definitely Saturdays. So like, subscribe to my Patreon if you feel so inclined, and I'll see you when I see you.